Hi, my name is Ashley Osborne. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Deval Group International. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Slough and a development we're promoting called Aspire. We think Slough is going to be a market that everybody talks about next year because it's about to, um, to see significant regeneration. We think the outlook for the London property market is extremely strong in 22, 23 and 24. And it's just it's not just us that's saying that. Most of the major agents are forecasting significant price growth in London. And in fact, the ONS, which is the um, Office for National Statistics, is forecasting 22.7% price growth in the UK by 2026. But specifically in London, we still see this significant supply shortage. In fact, the delivery of new housing has gone down in London over the last four or five years. Demand has started to increase as things are getting back to normal in the London market. And in fact, many of our agency partners are saying that there just isn't the stock to meet current rental demand. And they forecast that rents are likely to increase significantly over the coming years and have now returned to pre-COVID um, rents. In addition, construction costs are continuing to, uh, to increase in line with inflation, which is at 5.2% in the UK, but also interest rates are still at all time lows. Um, so there's no sign yet of significant increases in interest rates. Um, early indications are that they'll start to go up from February next year, but that means there's likely to be significant growth in the London property market over the next two to five years. Safety is always a concern for most areas across the UK. Slough has, um, you know, crime like any other part of the UK. It's certainly not more or less than any other parts. And, you know, from, from what we've seen, it's a lot less than most parts of London. But the thing I think that is really interesting about Slough is both British Land and ADIA, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, have decided to spend £3.5 billion on Slough Town Centre. Now they wouldn't do that if they thought there was a significant issue with crime. And in fact, what that investment is likely to do is actually change the face of Slough over the next few years. And what we're gonna see is a situation of gentrification where crime rates are gonna go down, um, the general quality of the population in the Slough location will increase as um, there's new facilities, new housing, um, and new um, opportunities. And that's what we've seen in places like um, Stratford, Elephant and Castle and King's Cross, which all, to be honest, people were talking about crime rates before there was significant regeneration that's taken place. But what we've seen in those locations is crime's gone down, investment's gone up, and capital values have increased significantly. And that's what we expect to see in Slough. I think Slough is going to be one of those markets that everybody talks about for the next two and three years. The reality is the Slough Town Centre is going to go undergo massive transformative regeneration. Um, it's got three and a half billion pounds worth of um, investment that's going into the town centre, which is being led by British Land, who's one of the largest retail operators and um, asset managers in the UK, and Adia, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. They're spending three and a half billion pounds on Slough Town Centre. It's going to transform with new housing, new offices, new retail, new F&B, and the place is going to look completely different. The other thing that really helps Slough is the new Crossrail station, which will be open next year. And we think the future for Slough is very bright indeed. The thing we really like about Click is they're a very different developer to what the type of developer that we would normally work with. Their background is very different. They come from a part of the market where they develop penthouses for a really discerning, selective type of buyer. Those people are really, really worried about attention to detail, quality, fish, fittings and finishes. And what Click do is they bring that focus to a development in Slough. And that is quite unusual because it's, it's a different type of developer that, that they've thought about every single detail of the development that they've built. And it really shows when you walk through the development. Um, not only are the um, facilities and the fixtures and fittings world leading, 
but they've also thought about the environmental impact being having an EPC rating of B, which is very unusual in the slough market. I think the slough market will, will attract two types of buyers. Firstly, there's no doubt there'll be a significant number of owner occupiers that will want to be in Slough. It's likely to be the younger um, market that goes there because it's a lot of cheaper property that sits in Slough. Um, and those, those people will be attracted by low costs to get to move into Slough. The transformative nature of what's happening in with the regeneration, so the bars, the restaurants and all those sorts of things, but also the job opportunities because we're right on the door of the Slough Trading Estate. So that's gonna mean that there's a huge amount of new jobs created which people living in Slough can benefit from. There's obviously also the Crossrail Station which gives them unheard of access to the West End, the City and Canary Wharf markets of London. But also I think the other thing is, um, this transformative regeneration which is taking place in Slough is gonna mean investors really see the opportunities in Slough. And the likelihood is, because of the significant capital appreciation that we see taking place in Slough and the low prices, it gives investors the opportunity of getting quite a unique combination of good running yield, but also potentially significant capital appreciation. And that's why I think investors will be very attractive to Slough too.